I'm Marissa Norcross. And I'm Dave Freund, and this is The Next Page. Marissa, how are you today? I am good. How are you? I'm good also. Hmm. We're just good today. We're not terrific. We're not fantastic. We're not... No, I don't think so. Today's just good. Today's just good. <laughs> <laughs> so, t- yeah, today today's an interesting day. Mm-hmm. It's an interesting day weather-wise. It's an interesting day topic-wise. Yes. So, let's just jump right in. So, my post this morning, a time for change. Mm-hmm. And um, we are concluding five years of the next page. Mm-hmm. Wow. We're sending the next page to kindergarten. <laughs> We're sending the next page to kindergarten. <laughs> no more preschool. We are off and ready to go here, right? Mm-hmm. It's, and I, and I, was, I was thinking back. So I actually, and I put this in my post uh, that came out this morning. Um, how many hours it takes to do one episode of the next page? Mm-hmm. Combined efforts, it's like over five hours. It's five and three quarter hours. That was my best guess mm-hmm. per week to do this. So if you multiply that times 260 episodes, that's nine months of eight hour days. Wow. Three quarters of a year, of a full year, for one person was spent doing the podcast. And then I, mm-hmm. and then, so I start thinking about, well, is there impact? Like, did it, was, you know, what, what really, what really happened? Well, one of the things I, and I, some of our listeners might remember this, but when we started, our technician, Tim, said, I will only do it if you commit to doing it for six months mm-hmm. or more, which we did. Mm-hmm. And I realized why when I started looking at the statistics, 51% of all podcasts last 10 episodes or less. Only 17% of all the podcasts ever released get to 50 episodes. So us getting to 260 is amazing. Yeah, that's incredible. And then I also looked at some other statistics that talked about things like, well, how do you know if your podcast is successful? And, mm-hmm. and when I looked at the, the data on this one, we were in the upper half getting closer to the upper 25% of all podcasts in terms of downloads per week when the episode is released. Mm-hmm. So that was crazy. We've never marketed it. We don't, you know, we... We have no sponsors. We talk... <laughs> We have no spon- we have no sponsors. We don't market it. We don't I mean I mentioned it in my classes. Yeah. You know, for additional content. I mean some of our members, but it's not like we're we're not going out of our way to get the effort to get the the information out there. It's just it's it's word of mouth. It's people mm-hmm. you know, maybe searching on a topic. Um so our number one country. So it's it's 30 I put it in my post this morning I, and I I'm probably going to miss quoted here but 30 some states um bunch of countries uh and it's interesting so the u.s is clearly the top country for our downloads canada was a strong second but this year for whatever reason luxembourg bumped spain down as the third most popular country interesting for our listeners and i so i have no idea how these how these things get out but it was it it it, it was it was successful mm-hmm which I guess is, is all you can really say. And so, and I think we did bring a lot of, I mean, we've, we've seen the emails that people have sent. We've heard people talk about it, about, you know, how valuable it, it was to them. Um, but then we get to my question. So is it time for a change? And, and I think it is. I think you and I've talked about it. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's why today we're just kind of okay. We're kind of good. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, Engineer Tim said to me a few minutes ago, he goes, are you sad? And I said, yeah, I think I am. Um, he's, and then he joked, he goes, it's kind of like the final episode of Seinfeld. I'm mm-hmm. like, well, not exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's probably the uh, first and only time our podcast has been. <laughs> has ever been connected with them. But so let's, I, I, I think mm-hmm. we need to talk about um First, let's talk about how we decided to make that this decision that that this type of podcast is is going to sunset. Mm-hmm. Um, so I you know, and I did some research. I tried to figure out so so what? How do people know when it's time to make a change? Because it's not easy. Mm-hmm. Um, 
nor is doing the podcast. If we think about, you know, combined, we're looking at five and three quarter hours a week and we all have full time jobs and, and you're a, a full time mom. Mm-hmm. And I'm so clearly I can't imagine what that's like. But so I started to ask myself some questions. I didn't like any of the answers I found when I did a Google search on this. So I thought, okay, so what questions would I ask to determine that this is really the right time to make a change? Mm -hmm. The first question was, is the podcast relevant? Is the Next Page podcast relevant? And the answer to that was, it is still relevant. You know, our download numbers are continuing to go up. They inch up a little bit. Um, It it depends on topic. It also depends on time of year. Mm -hmm. Um, Sometimes a year, you know, the fall is, it seems to be a busier time for Mm -hmm. podcast downloads. Not sure why. Um, it could be things like Live to Lead that have people thinking about growth and learning again. So so the answer to that first one was, yeah, it's relevant. So then you say, okay, so do we keep going? Well, no, there's more questions we need to ask. Mm-hmm. Is there someone else who could and might be doing it better? Because I'm reminded of, you know, John Maxwell saying, if there's somebody that can do something 80% as well as you let them. Mm-hmm. Well, then I had to ask myself, so is there somebody doing it better than we are? And the answer to that question is yes. And, and let me explain why. So I think, that, I think the same audience that we have could easily be served by the Maxwell Leadership Podcast. It's amazing content. Most of the time, similar topics. If, you would, if, we, would look at, if we look at my topics, our topics over the last five years, and we would look at the Maxwell Leadership Topic Podcast, they're similar. Mm-hmm. The topics are very, very similar. It comes out Wednesday mornings, just like the next page. They actually offer a downloadable worksheet to help you capture the learnings. And they offer a YouTube version if you want to watch the people recording it. No one wants to watch us record. (laughs) No one wants to watch us record it. We've never offered a YouTube video. Actually, the podcast does show up on YouTube, Mm -hmm. but only as an audio version. Yes. So, So anyways, the answer to the second question was, yeah. Somebody is doing it already better than us. Mm -hmm. So why wouldn't we let them? Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't we work in an area where they don't? So then the third one um, was, could we do something more valuable with our time? And I think the clear clear answer to that one was, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you're strapped for time. I'm strapped for time. Um, it gets very, very difficult to work a weekly podcast into all of our schedules. Mm-hmm. So by taking freeing up this five hours, I say three quarters, the three quarters is, is, is engineer Tim's time. Probably I'm guessing at three quarters of an hour. So, but for us, there's five hours that goes back into our week. Mm-hmm. Um, now when I was talking to my wife about it, I said, well, you know, some of that, my time is my writing of my post. My post will still come out weekly. Right. Um, there just won't be a next page to talk about it. Yeah. And you know what, David, maybe you should put that in, in the show notes. It put the uh, link to subscribe to your email. Sure. If someone still, you know, wants to um, read the first page. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's a great point. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that. Yeah. Because the next page was page two of what would have been my email post, but my, my email post is always three to 500 words. Mm-hmm. So then, the next one that I had, uh, the fourth question was, is there a better idea for the podcast? Mm-hmm. And I really think there is. Mm-hmm. I, think, I, I think what I would love to do is explore other leaders with some interviews, some um, different type of topic discussions. Um, and so... Uh, our leaders get to hear this for the first time. So we will be rebranding the next page as the navigating leadership podcast. Mm -hmm. I checked, it doesn't show up on iTunes, so we should be good with that one. And for our listeners, if you're subscribed to the next page, you will automatically be updated when the first episode is released. Now I will warn you, we're going to take the summer off Mm -hmm. to try to hone this out, to get several episodes nailed down, recorded. Um, We won't be weekly. I don't know if I can pull that one off. That would take a significant amount of time. 
you know, so it will not be weekly. It'll be once or twice a month is the best I can tell right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there will be a podcast and you, you stay, you're subscribed to the same RSS feed. It'll be there. You'll yeah. still get it. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited about that. Yeah. You know, I am, I am, I'm sad uh, because I think we've had some, we have had some good times. We've had some interesting times. Mm-hmm. So as you think back on the last five years, what are some memories that jump out at you hmm i think i just when i think back i i think about the evolution of of you know five seasons five continual seasons of of the next page and i think about you know you mentioned how tim told us we had to commit to six months and and thinking back to like who i was at that time was totally different from from who i am now in so many ways and um and almost like it was a little bit of just kind of like a fun side project for us. And I don't, yep. I don't think either of us expected to still be doing it at this point, right? And it just evolved no. over time. I think when we started, we used to record in, in this tiny little room together with our sound right. shields, right? It was a, <laughs> a, a totally different routine. And then it kind of evolved over time. And I think about, you know... <laughs> when you were still recording at the office and I was recording at home and, and I think about all the different places we I've recorded. I think you did a, a you were on a cruise ship once and I was in Florida yep. and just like the, the actual journey of producing the podcast for this long has, um, has me feeling really proud of us and, mm, yeah. and, and yep. also really, you know, it is kind of sad too, to think about just all the, the the times in these conversations because really what what we've put out um are just our conversations and right. we don't edit very heavily mostly just nope. to take out your coughs <laughs> 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 or my kids or whatever <laughs> um and it's just been been a great experience to to learn from you along the way and to an honor to be part of the conversation and to hear from from our listeners that that they have enjoyed what we've put out over the last five years yeah you know i i i i think about um you know when we were conceptualizing it you Mm -hmm. know where tim said to me um you can't do it alone Mm-hmm. And he was right. And our listeners know that those couple episodes <laughs> I did alone are train wrecks. <laughs> they really are. Um, and then he said, and, and there were things that he pointed out at the beginning. Um, he said things like, you need to talk about more than just the topic. Mm-hmm. Because pe- your listeners will build a relationship with the two of you if they know things about your life or something like that. And mm-hmm. that's why we started out with, you know, what's new. We, you know... Your your seasonal bucket lists, yeah. Cooking, you know, we came t- out. Cooking, we started out. We with had a lot, a of, lot cooking of cooking questions, yeah. And then we kind of transitioned away from food to weather, <laughs> to weather, Gard- we gardening, weather. gardening. We talked. Well, we had, we probably talked about two seasons of trying to get my boat running again, <laughs> which we did. But we talked mm-hmm. about a lot of things that had to do with life, and and mm-hmm. and there's a lesson in that for for anybody listening. You establish connections with people when you talk about something other than business, mm-hmm. other than work. Mm-hmm. And that was, that's why we did it. Mm-hmm. You know, we purposefully talked about things that were not related to leadership so that you would realize that when you logged into a call or logged into a podcast with the next page, you were talking with friends. Mm-hmm. It was a conversation. There's, there's another podcast that I listened to um, that's... Uh, it's actually the po- the podcast is actually called Java with Julie, mm-hmm. and this um, woman literally does a podcast in a coffee shop with her friends, mm-hmm. talking about very serious, very meaningful topics. But it was just it's a conversation with friends. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I kind of modeled our style after a podcast that didn't last very long, but was a great podcast called Perino and Steyerwald, which was uh, Dana Perino, who was the press secretary for George W. Bush. And Chris Steyerwald, who was um, like a political analyst at Fox News, and they would talk about world events from their perspective, but it was always what was Chris eating, 
what was happening with with Dana's uh, dog at the time, Jasper, and you you develop this relationship with these people that you're listening to on the radio or on the on a podcast rather. Mm -hmm. So that's why we did it. Um, I'm trying to think of some outstanding things for me. Um, I think one of the things that was most outstanding was 260 episodes without missing a week. Mm -hmm. Yes, the commitment, through, the consistency. Through mm -hmm. children being born, <laughs> um, global pandemic. Yeah. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, vacations, you had mentioned mm -hmm. vacations. I, you know, I would, every summer I, I go to a, a, a conference for my church denomination and I would pack up my microphone and my stand and I would find a room somewhere on the college campus where I could record mm -hmm. because that's what we did. Mm -hmm. You know, you were doing the same thing when you, when you would go to Florida. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, I think the big, I, you know, I, again, I'm, I'm also proud of what we accomplished. Um, we lived out the law of consistency. Mm -hmm. And the and the compounding, you know, of of the law of doing something on a regular basis. When I think of literally tens of thousands of downloads, it's hard to comprehend. It's hard to get my hands around. Mm -hmm. um, of course, the coughs. Yeah, the coughs were always part <laughs> of it. How many? You know, for a while we were saying that airborne gummies needed to be a sponsor because I was <laughs> eating them like candy. Um, you know, and, but yeah. it. It worked. Mm -hmm. And and clearly, too, the, the, the conversations that we were able to have every week, I, it was something I looked forward to. Mm -hmm. um, and you helped me. You added a dynamic to the podcast that made it enjoyable. Mm -hmm. You know, that conversation piece. The, 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 and what people don't know is the conversations we had before we'd hit record. Mm -hmm. You know, the challenges that you would give me or the pushing back on things. It was really helpful for me and helped me grow a lot in my perspectives on things. So if, if I were to ask you, what would you hope the next phase of this podcast could be? What, what would come to your mind? This is one of those mm. questions, again, that Marissa had no knowledge of in advance. Yeah. I, of course, we need to ask me a question that I'm unprepared for. Right. Wouldn't That's be, part of the podcast. Right. Um, you know, I, I think that you know I, I i'm looking forward to having some new voices on here with, yeah. with interviews and um for different perspectives and just sharing that with more people i think we you and i are very fortunate where we get to meet a lot of really amazing people just yep. through our, our connections at macne and and through our, our members and not everyone gets to have those conversations and meet those people. So I am right. looking forward to, to just bringing that into, in the idea of having a new and exciting guest on a regular basis, I think is, yes. is fun. And, um, and I think it also is in line with our, our mission at MACNE and that, we're, we're promoting the amazing things that our members are doing or that our partners right. are doing, whether they, you know, maybe we have some of our training partners or our consulting partners um, and sharing that with, with the community, um, especially now, because there are so many ways to connect with people near and far um, yep. that I am looking forward to, to doing that, to bringing amazing people um, into the space. That, that, that was well said. And that's, that's really where my, where my heart is right now. I, I think I've, like you said, we, we have so many great people mm -hmm. that we get to meet. And, and I also was thinking about, um, you know, the whole concept and the reason why I came up with the, the title navigating leadership. I, I think navigating through these difficult times, through these challenges, through these amazing opportunities takes some special insight and special skills. Mm -hmm. And if we can begin to have people, give people the platform where they can share some of their journeys, how are they doing it? How are they deciding how to do what they do? Uh, I, I'm also hoping that we'll get people to, to, to share, you know, how are they living out their why mm -hmm. as leaders? 
so that this can be inspirational for folks. And I'm also hoping, and, and I know I can do it, is to even even branching out beyond Central New York and, and mm-hmm. reaching out to a lot of my colleagues in Maxwell Leadership yeah. and saying, you know, would you be willing to jump on a podcast with me? I'd love to know how you're doing this. Mm-hmm. And would you be willing to share it with our listeners? So that's where I think we're going. Um, again, for, you know, I want to, I want to thank our listeners that have put in five years of listening Mm -hmm. because there are some, um, and I want to also thank you. I think, you know, again, this, I would not have been able to do it without you. I actually kind of challenged you as thinking that might be an excuse that I wouldn't have to do it because if, (laughs) because I said, if you do it, I'll do it. And then I said, okay, (laughs) okay. And I'm like, uh Oh, that means we got to do it now. So, but again, I, I could not have done it without you. Um, mm-hmm. I appreciate everything you brought to the podcast. Um, I appreciate your, your clarity, the questions that you asked, uh, but even more important that your friendship, because I, you know, the last five years, I think our friendship has gone to a much deeper level because of all of our conversations. Mm-hmm. Yes. I, I th- it's been, it's been really fun. And I, I thank you for trusting me with, you know, something that you put on your vision board six years ago. Right. Oh, that's right. I forgot that that was one of my items on my vision board. Yes, and you, you know, you you trusted me with that. And uh, like I said, I was really, I was a different person back then. And it really, as much as you look at this as something that I helped you with, I think you really helped me. And well, I I've learned so that. much. I appreciate that. It's been a pleasure. So I think we do need to close the way we normally do. So mm-hmm. any any plans for the weekend? Plans for the well. You know what? I'm still working on my deck. We should. Count. And I saw a picture. It looks good. <laughs> we should count the number of episodes where we talk about our <laughs> our deck our projects. projects. Well, and you know what? I actually I almost sent you a picture last night, but I said last week when we recorded our last ep- our previous episode mm-hmm. that I wanted to get the fire pit out. You know, the solo stove. Yeah. And so so last night I sat next to the pool mm-hmm. with a fire going. Eating a bowl of ice cream. Oh, that sounds so nice. And watching a Yankee game on, <laughs> on my iPad. It was perfect. Yeah, it sounds like it. And so hopefully, hopefully, and it would not be a next page in June if I wouldn't say, and hopefully this weekend, mm-hmm. I, I do want to get back to working on the boat. Mm-hmm. So with that, thanks again to all of our listeners. I'm Dave Freund. I'm Marissa Norcross. And this was The Next Page. Mm-hmm.